I read on the board a beautiful sentence. Where is your spiritual home? Where is your spiritual home? Some are homeless in our modern times. And some live somewhere in the wrong place. And someone have a spiritual home. Those who believe in God, in Allah Almighty, and believe in His messengers, and have love for Allah and obedience to Allah, following His will on the face of the earth, those will find tranquility in their hearts, and they will find that Allah is in their hearts. Allah is in their hearts, of course, not physically, but the awe of Allah and love for Him dwells in their hearts. Wherever they go, they find troubles, they refer to Allah and find all solutions. They face challenges and questions. They return to Allah to find the answers. One of the great Gnostics, Imam Ibn Ata'illah, put it in a beautiful way when he said in his invocations, I commented on these invocations in the five CD set, Invocations of the Heart. Ilahi madha wajada man faqadak wa madha faqada man wajadak. O my Lord, he who has lost you, what else has he found? O my Lord, he who has found you, what else has he lost? Has, have you found Allah? If you found Allah, have found everything, then you are at home. You are at home spiritually. You are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is always with you. God is always with you. The challenge, the question, are you with Him? Are you with God? That's the main question. No one is distant from Allah. Allah did not choose to turn away or keep at distance any of His servants. You choose this when you disobeyed Allah, when you ran away from Allah, when you felt that you have no hopes in Allah, when you lost your vision, when life became dark in front of you and there was no guide to remind you of your God, then at that moment you lost, you disconnected yourself from Allah. You created veils in front of you between you and your God.